So I'm really excited to talk to you about malaria today. Um, it's actually linked to my passion for biology because I had this amazing biology teacher in 10th grade who would talk about having survived malaria twice when he was in the Peace Corps. And I was like, what? How, how does that even happen? And so when I got the opportunity to meet you today on Ask a Scientist and talk to you, I was very, very excited. And you know, for those of you who didn't see the incredible documentary on this subject, um, The Battle to Beat Malaria, which was just a fantastic doc, um, what can you talk to us about the history of the development of the malaria vaccine? How does it work? And maybe even give us a very short snippet of how malaria makes you sick. I think most people don't even know the mechanism from mosquito to sickness. Well, first of all, thank you so much, uh, Valerie. Um, you know, it's uh, for me especially, it's incredible. And, and, and we appreciate so much when we have partners like yourself coming to help us tell the story. And um, uh, to help us tell the story of, of malaria, which, you know, it might be increasingly in the news, but actually it's still a very neglected disease. And uh, I, I say this uh, with the understanding that, you know, it's, it's not common you have a single organism that claims lives close to, you know, 650,000, 600, and I think at the moment we're talking nearly 610,000 people every year. Uh, this is, this is if you don't count, you know, like school absenteeism, work absenteeism, so sickness, or bedtime, you know, because uh, we have 250 million cases of uh, infections every year of this. So uh, if, if you were to consider this public enemy, uh, with that death toll, it's not small. And therefore, I'm, I'm really, really happy. And on behalf of my colleagues, uh, super grateful to you guys for helping us tell the story. Now, you asked me, what happens when you get malaria? Uh, of course, uh, they are ultimately, if you don't get treated, you will die. So this is, yeah, this is what happens. Uh, but generally, it expresses with uh, the fevers, um, and, and sometime in the severe form, it can go into convulsions and eventually become death. From the prevention side, uh, first of all, I think maybe I should have started with how do you get infected? So you, you get, you know, you get bitten by a mosquito, a mosquito of the family we call anopheles. Uh, these mosquitoes typically love human blood. Uh, in, in Africa, the main malaria vectors are really uh, human loving. So they have learned to survive in close environments with humans, so they, they seek humans for blood. And it's in this process where they can either pick the malaria parasites, and if the malaria parasite successfully develops in their midgut, so they pick it up and go into the tummy, it develops into different stages. After a number of days, it reaches the mouth parts of the mosquito. And at that time, usually it has transformed into a, what we call the infective stage of the, of the malaria parasite. So it's ready. If the mosquito then bites the next person, and usually this has to happen within about 12 days or two weeks, then about, if this mosquito bites the next person, it can inject this parasite into that next person. And that next person becomes infected. And so at that stage, the parasite goes into the bloodstream, lodges into the liver, it multiplies, it, different, it becomes, it, it generates a number of, of siblings, of, 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 uh, of progeny. Um, and this bursts into the bloodstream, causes a lot of fever. That's when a lot of sickness happens. And if, if this stage passes successfully, those mosquitoes become mature again. And then the mos if a mosquito bites that person, it can pick up those mature stages. So it is the reaction of the body to this parasite that makes you really, really sick. And depending on the densities of these parasites in your blood, you may die. And also, of course, depending on whether uh, uh, you have previously been infected. So some people, they've been infected multiple times, so they have a little bit of immunity against the, the parasite. Um, uh, but for most people, if you don't live in malaria areas, for example, typically you do not have any immunity. Uh, and then you need to make sure you really have access to treatment very quickly, otherwise you will not make it. 